Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's Beer Reviews. So, just got back from the LCBO, and I had the pleasure of finding a brand new uh, beer on the shelf. Uh, we got the Samuel Smith's Winter Ale, which is an incredible treat, because being in Ontario, Canada, Toronto, uh, not too many Samuel Smiths are ever on the shelf. Um, this is the only one of theirs that has probably ever come to Toronto that I've never had so far. Um, I've had really good winter ales in the past, so if, I, if I'm anywhere close to what I'm expecting this to be like, I'm going to be in for a treat. Uh, just to cover it briefly, this is a 6% uh, ABV uh, at 550 milliliters. I'll read the brief little description on the back here because it is quite brief. Uh, this seasonal beer is a limited edition brewed for the short days and long nights of winter. The full body resulting from, and they put this in bold, fermentation in stone Yorkshire squares. Um, and the luxurious malt character, which will appear to a broad range of drinkers, is balanced against whole dried fugal and golding hops with nuances and complexities that should be contemplated before an open fire. Well, I can't tell you that I'm anywhere close to an open fire, but as you can tell behind me, oh, sorry, right over here, I'm in a very old apartment building, and the place is boiling hot all the time, so I feel like I'm next to a fire regardless. Um, Samuel Smith's Shire Horses in the Snow. Uh, the horses are used to take out deliveries five days a week, so it shows you the pictures of the horses right there, which is actually quite a pretty cool looking image. Now, bear with me, alright? Last night, Friday, was at a Halloween kegger, alright? It was great, but this is the morning of, and I don't quite have the headache yet that I should have the next day, so uh, before it starts to kick me in the ass, I'm going to uh, enjoy this to keep that headache or any of those feelings from coming on. And uh, fortunately, uh, last year I had the pleasure um, of buying a Samuel Smith gift pack. Uh, so I'm going to be enjoying that with the glass. Alright. Most importantly, I wanted to uh, throw out there the fact that I'm drinking this beer at room temperature because that is how Samuel Smith beers should be brewed, uh, should be drank. Smells so far just very much like a lager. We'll see how it is when I pour it in the glass. Of course, uh, being at a kegger, you can imagine uh, what type of beer I was drinking, and that is uh, obviously beer of a lower quality. Um, My apologies on the slow pour, as amusing as it may be. This usually always happens to me with Samuel Smith brews, so I'm surprised I haven't learned from my mistakes before. Alright, so that's good enough. We have a two finger head here. Do you hear that noise? I put a bag on the ground thinking that my cat would crawl into it, and that's exactly what she did. I don't know why she left. Anyway, um, very, very cool head here. It actually looks kind of like a frothy A&W uh, root beer head. It's an off-white color. Um, this color seems to be Samuel Smith's favorite color. Um, we got an amber-colored beer here. Smells very much like an English ale. Um, let's give it a shot. I really taste those fugal hops in there. They're called fugal hops or fugal hops. I'm not absolutely sure. <coughs> Maybe I should Google that before I do another review. But, um, yeah, 
There isn't really much lace on this. I don't think there is going to be. But uh, you know what? This is a really, really nice uh, English ale taste that I've never experienced before. I don't know if I can say that this is something that I would consider a, a winter ale. Um, the first winter ale I've ever had had an enormous amount of uh, extremely interesting spices in the beer and that for some reason made me feel like kind of like a Christmassy feel you know and this is very much like a, an English ale approach no no problems with the English ale approach actually at one point in time I didn't like English ales but uh, they're growing on me and that's because I generally don't drink beer at room temperature um, but this one is superior. Um, actually, we are getting a little bit of lace, so that's cool. Very good, very, very good taste. Um, I believe I have it here. Yeah, it was $3.95 for this uh, 550 milliliter bottle. Definitely worth trying, um, especially if you're a Samuel Smith fan. Hands down, their best is still their oatmeal stout um, that I've had so far. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, when I did buy their gift pack, I opened up a, a giant pamphlet. And right before my eyes, there was like almost a hundred different types of beers that they produce that I've never been able to try. So, me only having five of their beers so far is basically nothing uh, in comparison to what there is out there. Taste isn't changing whatsoever through the beer. It is solid, tastes great very refreshing, um, very smooth front and very smooth back on the palate, um, but at the same time, um, at the same time, you still experience the carbonation that you're supposed to experience on your tongue. I just wish, uh, I wish they had their own caps. That's my only complaint, uh, complaint about Samuel Smith. Um, I usually have caps that you can't save, something you can't really, um, you know, collect. Uh, well, this isn't going to change in taste, so you pretty much got my review. Very, very good beer. Um, I wish there was something more I could explain about it. Um, it has a bland approach. But since it really has that sturdy English ale taste in there, that's basically uh, the concentration of the taste that you're experiencing within this beer. Uh, again, I don't know if I can consider this to be a Christmassy, winter, ale-ish beer. Maybe they just brewed it in the wintertime. <laughs> or close to the wintertime. Anyway, talking out of my butt now. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive. Have a happy Halloween. It's two days from now is going to be Halloween. Um, and drink responsibly. Cheers.